When selecting a cinema camera for filmmaking, you must first choose how much you are willing to pay for it and why you require it. The best possible cinema camera is required for quality video recording. Whether you're a beginner, a seasoned filmmaker, or a YouTube video creator, you'll need to sift through a variety of alternatives before finding the right match. Amateur filmmakers who want to generate high-quality video without spending a fortune on professional video or cinema equipment are increasingly turning to interchangeable lens cameras. Many still and hybrid cameras now feature outstanding internal video recording capabilities and support a wide range of recording formats, codecs, and image profiles, giving you complete creative flexibility from shooting to editing. However, with so many possibilities, it may be difficult to know what to look for in a camera. When shopping for a filmmaking camera, keep in mind the resolution and frame rate options, whether or not it has in-body stabilization and autofocus ability as well as your budget, ergonomic preferences, and personal style. An array of filmmaking cinema cameras could be a bit overwhelming, but you need not to worry because you are watching the perfect video to suit your needs. Hello and welcome back to our channel. I hope you all are doing great. Sit back and relax and stay tuned because we handpicked these 5 best cinema cameras that are picture perfect for filmmaking. At number 1 is one of the best value cameras considering it shoots in stunning 12K. This is the Blackmagic Ursa Mini Pro 12K. If bigger is better, then the new Blackmagic Ursa Mini Pro 12K is the best of all as it shoots in 12K. However, the camera's incredibly high resolution is almost a byproduct of what the Aussie boffins at Blackmagic wanted to do. That was to make a camera capable of the very best 4K footage that has a very filmic look instead of looking too digital. The Blackmagic Ursa Mini Pro 12K has earned bragging rights thanks to its incredible 79.6 megapixel sensor which makes it the highest resolution cinema camera on the market and allows you to shoot 12K Blackmagic RAW files with 14 stops of dynamic range and a highly filmic aesthetic. If the prospect of 12K file sizes makes you shiver, reduce the resolution to 8 or 6K and not only will the quality remain fantastic, but it will also allow you to film at frame rates that no other camera can. It lacks a few features from the original Ursa Mini Pro, including IBIS or in-body image stabilization, face detection autofocus, continuous autofocus, and no other codecs except RAW. It's clearly geared at seasoned cinematographers who want total control over their shots rather than someone looking for a camera that can do everything. Next is the Canon EOS C300 Mark III. Known for its impressive autofocus, excellent dynamic range, and raw output, it's a professional powerhouse. Many cinematographers have preferred the C300 Mark II since its introduction, but the Mark III's release has utterly eclipsed it. The Canon C300 Mark III is the first camera to include Canon's dual-gain output technology, or in other words, dual-native ISO, which results in extremely clean low-light image quality, HDR capture, and a massive 16 stops of dynamic range. It can record at up to 120 frames per second in 4K Super 35 and 180 frames per second in 2K Super 16. 4K Cinema Raw Lite at 10-bit or 12-bit, 2K Raw at 10-bit or 12-bit, and XF AVC or MXF at 422-10-bit all I or long GOP are among the internal recording possibilities. Canon's Cinema EOS C300 Mark III is the next evolution of Canon's professional cinema camera range. Created with broadcast and film professionals in mind, this small and modular body houses the real magic in the new DGO sensor. 
Now we have here the Sony FX3 Full Frame Cinema Camera. With a compact design for solo shooters, for travel applications, and to serve as an ideal B cam, the Sony FX3 borrows from both the Cinema Line and Alpha series of cameras to create an optimized portable cinema camera. Though they're still pretty hard to come by, but if you can get one, it's totally worth the wait. The speckled gray hue of the shell distinguishes the Sony FX3 from other video-centric Sony cameras like the Sony A7S III. The FX3 looks very much like the Alpha series cameras, despite being part of the FX family. The FX3, on the other hand, is unquestionably a qualified movie camera with Sony Cinetone OS, color science, a detachable handle with XLR audio input, integrated mounting points, and a movie-specific control layout that differs significantly from what we've seen on previous Alpha models. The FX3 features all the imaging attributes you'd expect from this class but sports a new lightweight handheld form with a streamlined profile and a cage-free design, offering the ability to secure various accessories directly to the camera body. The FX3 offers the exceptional S Cinetone color developed for Sony's acclaimed FX9 is the default look on the FX3 for cinematic expression. It's precisely tuned to meet the requirements of today's content creators with rich color and natural skin tones that match other cinema line cameras without grading. With all intra on top of long gop compression, the FX3 is capable of 4K internal recording, 10 bit depth, and 42 color sampling. This allows you to push your color grades farther while maintaining natural gradation, giving you complete editing freedom. So you can focus on composition, sophisticated tracking technologies keep your subject in constant focus. Real-time eye autofocus guarantees that the face and eyes are precisely focused, while the real-time tracking is driven by Sony's AI-based subject recognition algorithms. Overall, the Sony's FX3 Cinema Line camera brings the visions of passionate content creators to life. Cinematic expression is matched with reliable performance and streamlined operation to serve the needs of today's creative community. Compact and lightweight, it's easy to carry and handle. Next is the Netflix-ready cinema camera, the Panasonic AU EVA1 5.7K. The Panasonic EVA1 has Netflix approval, which is uncommon in such a small cinema camera. It weighs only 1.2 kilograms without a lens, making it a terrific run-and-gun alternative. It also fits on a gimbal, which is ideal if you're shooting with a pancake lens. The 3.5-inch screen isn't only articulating. It can also be detached and repositioned depending on what you're recording, albeit, outside visibility isn't fantastic. The EVA1's 5.7K CMOS or Complementary Metal Oxide Semiconductor Sensor oversamples to provide exceptional 4K output and, like the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K, it boasts a dual native ISO with one sweet spot at ISO 800 and the other at ISO 2500. This results in less grain and more dynamic range. With a compatible recorder such as the Atomos Shogun, the camera can output 5.7K RAW or 240fps at 2K resolution. So while the slow motion capabilities might not be class leading when working with the out-of-the-box kit, couple it with a few accessories and you can get stellar results that are ready for the big and small screen alike. Compact and lightweight, the AU EVA1 is tailor-made for handheld shooting, but also well-suited for documentaries, events, commercials, and music videos. And lastly, we have here the box-style camera that offers a smaller alternative to your standard cinema camera. This is the Zcam E2 Professional 4K Cinema Camera. The Zcam E2 has capabilities seen in high-end cameras from Arri and Red 
such as its own raw codec, Zero and ProRes. It can shoot slow motion shots in DCI or digital cinema initiatives and UHD 4K at 160 frames per second as well as Full HD at 240 frames per second for super slow motion recording. It can shoot 10-bit ProRes 422 as well as H.265 and H.264 codecs, allowing you to reduce your film without sacrificing quality. It hosts a dynamic range of 13 stops in Z-Log mode and 16 stops in WDR mode, and its famous Micro Four Thirds mount makes it compatible with a wide selection of lenses. The camera can be easily operated by a smartphone app, which may be used to provide a live view capability through Wi-Fi or USB connection, which is a useful feature given that it lacks a screen. It's powered by a Sony L-Series battery, which isn't included. However, you may connect it to an AC adapter and power it from the wall. The Zcam E2 is totally a great steal, since you get a lot of professional features for the money that you won't get on other cameras. There are still so so many great cinema cameras for filmmaking, but the five we recently mentioned are no doubt four stars in delivering your content creating bustle and hustle that will surely leave no room for a hassle. So yeah, we hope you enjoyed this video as much as we did. And please let us know in the comment section below which of these 5 cameras caught your heart. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, click the subscribe button, and turn on the notification bell for more awesome videos like this one. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you again on our next video.